Toastmaster, Toastmasters and welcome guests. We didn't have one, but we have one for <laughs> Title of the speech, plan to be a mentor. Don't plan to fail, fail to plan. Well, Angela didn't plan at all. <laughs> 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 she, didn't, she didn't prep very much, but she showed you a well-experienced story maker, Angela. You did excellent, and you really showed your experience there. With very little planning, we'll have her usual props. <coughs> she staged it, she used the actions, she showed the hat. And I liked it. They're invisible props, <laughs> but well described. Plenty of body language throughout, giving eye contact, scanning the audience. She explained why it's very important to have a mentor, and she explained having. Giving advice on coming up to becoming a mentor indicated why it's key to have a mentor rather than not to have a mentor. So she persuaded, she inspired, she convinced and called them to action. It was part of project nine of her speech to persuade with power and she definitely gave power with her speech. What I particularly liked about your speech, Angela, is the love, the smile, the warmth, it really emplaced love within us all. So when you speak, you feel like you're my mum or my aunt. <laughs> like, I feel you're, you're a loved one. You were definitely portraying love. Um, suggestion for improvement, Angela. It was very difficult to find one. Um, over an extra. Your time was five to seven minutes. And you go, I'll oh, give us another three minutes. <laughs> and everyone's like, what was that about? And they go, any questions? <laughs> and there was no one to answer your question. So that sort of portrayed that we wasn't sure whether it was that extra three minutes we wanted or we didn't want it. But you didn't use the three minutes anyway. <laughs> you did get it over with after that. Overall, give them excellent uh, speech. Thank you.